Coco's World. So today I'm going to be doing my annual What I Got For Christmas. You guys love this video every year, so let's get started. If you guys are new here today, make sure to subscribe, follow me on Instagram and TikTok, and let's go. So first I'll start off with like my main presents, like my favourite presents. If you guys watched my last video, then you'll already know what this is, but it is... <gasps> Leducas! So if you don't know what Leducas are, they're basically um, a dance heel. So I, before I was at my musical theatre college, I didn't even know about like dance heels. Like I've only ever danced in jazz shoes or turners and it hadn't even entered my mind that I'd ever have to dance in something other than jazz shoes, turners or bare feet. And then on like the first day, everyone had these shoes and I was like, what is going on? And I was borrowing my mum's capizo heels that she does when she does shows and I'd literally never danced in anything before. So this shoe's called the Elizabeth. You have to go and like get your feet fitted. So which shoe is best for your foot? They're all very similar. They're, um, you can get them in your skin colour. There was a shoe that I wanted, but my foot wasn't like slim enough, so it really depends on like what your foot shape is. But these are so, so good. My teacher said before we broke up for Christmas, she was like, because I said I'm going to get Leducas for Christmas, and she said, you have to wear them every single day to break them in so we can dance when we come back. So I've not taken these off my feet yet, and I have bad blisters, so they have like these like weird socks. <laughs> that are so strange and you can really see them up close but I suppose if you're on stage then it wouldn't matter. So I got these with my mum a couple weeks ago and that was in my last video um, and then when we were there they were like do you want a bag and the bag was like extra and the shoes were so expensive and I was like I don't need the bag like it's fine honestly. So Freddie went back and she got me <laughs> the Leduca bag so this is um the bag that you can take the shoes and carry them around because Obviously I can't take them around in a big shoe box and like my bag every day and this bag is so cute, it just looks so professional with like the gold Leduca. And also, Freddie went a little bit extra and got me a Leduca keychain. My next main present and when I opened this, I like looked at Freddie and I was like, are you sure you went to buy me this? <laughs> because, wait, before, before I show you, I've wanted one of these for years, years. And I would always say to Freddie, oh my god, I just absolutely love this. And she'd always go, ooh, no. No, why would you want that? Like, ooh, no. So I kind of built up my hair. I was like, oh, you know, I'll, I'll never get one of these. So when I opened on Christmas Day a North Face coat, I died. I died inside. A piece of me died. This isn't just like your regular black North Face coat. It's pink. I die, like I can't like, I, I still can't even like, I've, I've got a North Face coat, like I can't, like it's so exciting and this is so, so cute. It's like cropped, I don't know if you can, oh, I'd have to put it on, I'm gonna have to put it on, won't I? It's cropped, like you can see like it's not like a full length coat, well not full length, but you know it's like, it's cropped and it's just so cute. And it's also really warm. I wore this out yesterday and it was really cold. My mum was like, you can't wear that out. Like your midriff is bare and you're gonna be freezing. And I was boiling. This is like a really good coat. Not only is it really cute and fashionable, it's actually a really good coat, genuinely. And it's, I'm so obsessed, I'm so obsessed. So one of my presents, I can't show you because I went there last night. So my mum bought me tickets to something called Stranger Sings. And I was like, what? I was so confused. And I looked on the ticket and then like, we didn't even have any seats. And I said to my mum, I was like, what, what is this? And she said, you know what Coco? I don't know what it is. So we, me and my dad went last night and we had absolutely no clue what to expect because it was in the vaults in Waterloo. Like that, that's not a theater. Like it wasn't, we were so confused. So I thought maybe because there's no seats, it was like a walkthrough experience of Stranger Things. But I was like, isn't that just like the Stranger Things experience? And I've done that and it was so fun. But why is it called Stranger Sings? So basically it was a musical. It was so funny. I took my dad because he's watched season one and two of Stranger Things, as well as my sister and my mum haven't watched any of Stranger Things and I'm absolutely obsessed. And it was so funny. Um, 
um, I was actually crying. There was a lots of multi rolling, and the man who played Dr. Brenner, I actually had like tears streaming down my face because I was laughing so much. So I definitely recommend. I think it was like fifteen pounds per ticket, and it was two acts, but it was really short. It was only like. 80 minutes I think but I would definitely recommend definitely like, go and see it with a friend it was so so funny so now I'll show you all of my clothes that I got and usually I say this is what the stuff that Freddie gets me however my mum and dad really really pulled through this Christmas because I remember I was out with my mum just on Oxford Street or I don't know why we were there um and we went into some shops and I was showing her like my like the style that I really like um kind of like kind of like street style but not as like cool a bit more like preppy i don't know how to describe it but that's kind of what i like at the moment <laughs> as you guys if you watch freddie my love you know that is not her style at all um so you can definitely see the stuff that freddie got me versus the stuff that my mum and dad got me and i absolutely love both but just so you know this isn't all from freddie so as you guys know i go to musical theater college and I only realised like a week in, I was like, wow, the only thing I'm gonna be able to wear for the next three years is joggers and hoodies. That's like, there's, that's literally the only functional thing. I even tried to wear leggings a couple of days and even leggings is a no go. Like I honestly just need joggers because to be fair, like I'm wearing like a leotard and tights. Like I just need to put some joggers over the top. I still want to look like put together and cute. So Freddie, um, this is so, so amazing. Got me um, this tracksuit set from Block. So it's like this grey joggers and a matching, and it's cropped, jumper. And these are so cute. It's got like pink on the front and that says Block and it's got matching joggers and this is Block on here too. And I really like the fact that it's Block. If you don't know, Block's a dance um, wear company. So these are really stretchy and actually good to dance in because I've got some joggers, like the joggers I'm wearing now love them they're from abercrombie but i can't really dance them like they're just not really made for dancing but these are so stretchy and so cute i'm so excited to wear these when i get back and also for dancing i got this shirt with fame on it this is actually really cute <laughs> i actually really like this especially like when you tie it up i just really like loose shirts and like to dance in like they're such a vibe i can imagine myself wearing this in like tap or artistry just slaying the day away Okay, so now these clothes are kind of what I'm talking about, the street style, but that's not really grungy street style. So I have been dying, and I mean dying, for a pair of cargoes. Because the only place that I know of that have like cargoes that are the style I want are Bershka and Urban, and that is so expensive. Like, I can't afford that. I'm broke. And I'm not actually sure where these are from, but I am absolutely broke bloody obsessed so these are from les Franz. i don't know yeah and these are just absolutely to die for when i opened these i screamed and my sister was watching me like this because imagine imagine my sister wearing these it was it's actually comical but these are such a pretty lilac color they look kind of blue on camera but they're purple and they're extra small but they're so baggy and loose fitting and they've got these like strings that like tie at the ankle and around the waist and they're just so cool next this top is so cute this is from bershka bershka my absolute favorite um it's got this like cool graphic design on it and the back's all like got this crissy crossy design ah! it's just so nice and i've tried these on together and it just looks so good i just feel like the baddest baddest alive yeah there's nothing else i can say like this is honestly just like if i could if i could fill my wardrobe with clothes like these i would i need to get a job <laughs> And the last top, this is from Daisy Street, and I've actually never heard of Daisy Street before, but this is so cute. It's this top, it says Howdy on it, and it's got like flared sleeves, but the best part is the back. Well, I think the point is that there's no back, it's literally like a complete open back, and I was thinking, how am I supposed to wear this? And then my mum was like, I thought you could wear it like with a leotard, and I was like, oh my god, of course, because all my leotards have just like completely open backs, so this would look so good, because when you're like in jazz or anything where you've got like a leotard, maybe like street, I always have like a t-shirt over the top of my leotard to like warm up in. And this is gonna be so cute. I'm absolutely obsessed, absolutely obsessed. 
So now I'll show you stuff that I got for my room. So first, this little mouse. I don't know where I'm gonna put this, but it's so cute because it reminded me of my mice that I had, Velma and Daphne. So my granny got me this and she picked it herself. And honestly, this is like the most me thing ever. And I was so impressed and I'm absolutely obsessed. I think this is one of my favorite presents. So she got me this chakra tree. Um, I have seen these before, just not in, not like a chakra, but I've seen rose quartz ones or amethyst ones, but this one has all of the different crystals on it and it is so cute. And at the bottom it's got like all of these crystal chips, but this is so pretty. So basically each leaf is like a crystal gem and it's just gorgeous, like it's actually gorgeous. When I open this, I, my jaw dropped, like I died. I also got this mirror and this is, well, when I opened this, I was like, this is so cool. But then I realized it looks like an evil eye. Can you see, it's like, this is like the eye, um, like the pupil or whatever. And then like, you can, I don't know if you can see, there's a shape here and it literally looks like an eye. And if you guys don't know, I'm obsessed with the evil eye. And this is so cute, like so, so nice. And I just don't know where to put it. Like I'm absolutely loving just filling up my walls with everything and there's no room. And I'm really sad. I feel like I'm gonna have to take something down because I love this so much. I'm absolutely still obsessed with crystals. So Freddie got me this like rose quartz tea light holder and it came with the tea light. So when I got my new room, I got a double bed and I was thinking recently that I look quite like plain. And I was like, what's it missing? Like I really don't know. Like I've got four pillows. I've got this sausage cushion I am obsessed with. Um, and I was like, I need some cushions, something decorative for my bed. And me and my mum have been looking for months. So these are the three cushions and they're so nice. Just the perfect style for my room. This is the first one. It's got these cute tassels on it and then just some really nice detailed pattern. And then the second cushion, this green one, has the same kind of pattern. And these are just so soft. And the third one is this fluffy cushion. And this is so nice. And then this side is actually like velvety and I obsessed my cat's obsessed with this too but these three cushions are just amazing i've been putting the two white ones here and then the green one here in the middle you know what? I'll, I'll leave them here for now really like them okay and then the last thing for my room and you're actually going to die before i show you guys it is so ridiculous that like it's just it's just stupid so i so i've seen on tiktok like i don't know how to say it dungle squashes dungle something it's like a really really weird name and it's basically these toys from ikea and ikea toys are always the best and i named it yesterday so i'd like to introduce to you the new member of the cousin browns elvis <laughs> i've named it elvis so i've got my own austin butler and this is so cute. When I said we spent ages picking out which one we wanted, because they've all got a different face, not like on purpose, but all, all their faces were a bit different. And we thought this one looked the friendliest. And this is the, the biggest, squishiest thing ever. And I just absolutely love it. I just, oh, it's so nice for like everything. Bring it in the car. You know, like in your own car and you can't rest your head properly. Bring Elvis and you can rest your head there. Oh, like, oh, I've got nothing to put my neck on. Put Elvis there. Do you know what I mean? I think everyone could use a dungle squash Elvis in their life. For ages now, and not just since I've had my new room, I've had nowhere to put my jewellery and I cannot find any jewellery organisers or anything. But my mum found this one from Urban Outfitters and it is so pretty. And this is like in the perfect style of my room. And would Christmas really be Christmas if you didn't get a candle? Um, and I've never had this many candles before and I'm so excited because I love candles. Um, so the first one is this Believe in Your Dreams candle and this is so cute. It's got like gold polka dots on it and it smells so nice and it's so cute. And I love candles where you can save the jar because I like saving the jar and then putting like plants in it. I think that's, I think that, that looks so cool. I also got this little candle called Feeling Dreamy and this is peach, mango and jasmine and I've already like um, burnt it halfway. That smells so good. And I've never ever got a Yankee candle for Christmas because I always think, because I always get my mum a Yankee candle, so I always associate it with like a grown up gift. So when I got Yankee candles, I was like, stop it, 
Stop it. And I didn't just get one Yankee candle. No. I got a lot of them. So this is a Yankee Candle Home Inspiration Spring Slash Summer Collection. So this is one, two, three, four, five Yankee Candles in it. So it's got vanilla frosting, and I love like a sickly smell. Mango lemonade, coral peony, island bloom, and fairy floss. And Freddie actually got a fairy floss candle, um, and I know it smells really good. So this is gonna be so cute. I smell all of them, and my favorite is the mango lemonade, which is really handy because I also got another mango lemonade candle. It's oh, so amazing. I don't know what it smells of. It literally smells like a feeling of like rocking up to the beach in the summer on holiday. I just absolutely love it. So now when I burn one, I don't have to be sad. Don't worry Coco, because you've got another one. So like on a cosmetic-y side of things, I asked for beauty blenders and I've used one of them and it's got like, and it's expanded so much so it won't fit back in the jar. But these are so pretty and I love this jar. This is so cute. I'm gonna like put it up on my makeup shelf. This is just so nice. All different beauty blenders. So I'm gonna use one for foundation and concealer, one for powder and one for blush because I left my bag at a Christmas Eve party and I don't know when I'm gonna get that back and it had lots of my makeup in it so it's a touchy subject but the beauty blenders can fix it and like that was my first Yankee Candle present ever I also got my first Charlotte Tilbury present I opened like the back first I think and I saw the pink and the gold writing and I was like is this the Tilbs? is this the Tilbs? so inside you have a pillow talk lipstick lip liner, collagen lip gloss, and like this lip balm. And I also got my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is the only concealer that I can stand. I've literally gone through five of these because I'm just absolutely obsessed, um, but I can't afford it just to buy it when mine runs out. So I have to wait for Christmas and my birthday. And I'm gonna ask one for my birthday, even though this won't big out, but I need to, I need to stock up. One of my favorite things to do is just to walk into Lush and to smell it and just look at everything that I absolutely can't afford. And one thing that I was just absolutely obsessed with was their perfume. This is called Sex Ball. <laughs> <laughs> but I just absolutely love the smell. It's a very strange bottle for perfume. Like you can really carry this around with you and like make it attractive. Like I'm just gonna spray some perfume because it's the ugliest bottle. But this is honestly one of like the, the nicest smells ever. It's jasmine and sage. I didn't even know that it was sage and I have sage literally everywhere. I love it. So that makes sense why I like it. But this is the nicest and then to go with it this snow fairy lip jelly and both of these presents were from JJ and it's just the perfect gift I love lush live love love lush I also got this compact mirror from skinny dip and it's just so cute and also for college I got these resistance bands so I need these for Pilates and I was actually supposed to get them <laughs> like two months ago um, and I just never did I have no idea why and I've literally just been borrowing everyone's so my teacher will be very thankful that I finally got some. I thought this was such a cool present so it's edible glitter and it's eight different colours and yeah it's basically just to put on all my cakes because I still absolutely love baking so that's such a cool present. And it wouldn't be the Christmas season without a few games and this is so awesome. As you guys know I absolutely love double, me and my family love double. I'm the reigning double champion and this is Harry Potter double and I tried to play this with my mum and she just couldn't do it. Like there are just some things in it that you know, a non-Harry Potter, like, fanatic person wouldn't know. Like, even like this, like Lucius, like my mum just was going, man with blonde hair. So I was like, okay, I can't play this with you. So I brought Freddy out. <laughs> I worked out my secret weapon, Freddy, and we came up with this thing where you can't put the thing down if you don't know the exact name for it. So, like, there are different things on here, like Marauder's is map, and my mum would just go map or with the dog, we'd have to say fan, you couldn't just say dog. Um, and like the dragon, you'd have to say Norbert, because its name's Norbert. And the cup, it's the Tri-Wizard Cup. And you have to like say 
everything perfectly or else you can't put your car down so that's actually really fun and when i opened this game i was so excited and i actually tried to play it but it's way too hard it's actually really hard so i'm gonna have to wait for jj because he's like the figuring out games instructions champion and it's an it chapter two game and this looks so fun you basically got to like go through all the sewers and you have to blow up a red balloon and it says you will need a red balloon and a drawing pin so <laughs> On my phone I've got this app, um, I'm not sure what it's called, but it basically gives me like positive affirmations every day and I always get notifications with just like positive things. So I got these like, you got this, 100 inspiring quotes. So it's really nice because like every day you can take a card away and like read one. So today's is, be the reason someone smiles today. And I just really like just like little things to, like think about throughout the day. So I absolutely love these. And finally, a good way to start off 2023 is a diary. I've never actually had like a hard diary before I just have it on my phone but I feel like I'm actually really gonna try with the diary because I feel like if it's written down on paper and not just on my phone I'll actually pay attention to it I feel like that make me more productive and this is such a cute diary too it's purple and yeah hopefully 2023 20 will be my productive year so guys that was my what I got for Christmas I'm so grateful I absolutely love everything I'm so excited I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Bye. Sashay away Elvis style.